Hello, my lovely Pisces. Thank you for joining me for yet another Timeless Love reading. I want to thank my subscribers for all of the cards they send to me, whether they're tarot, tarot, or um, oracle cards. I greatly appreciate all of you. You guys are so kind and generous. This is one of my new decks. It's from B. Beautiful. Okay, Pisces. We've got the King of Winter. The Prince of Spring. These cards are huge and they're so beautiful. The Strength card. Life experience. The eight of some eight of summer. The nine of autumn. Knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, and unemotional. Get advice from someone professional and objective. Public speaking and unemotional relationships. I feel like that's how you're trying to be with this King of Swords. You're also trying to come forth as like charming and self-confident. But your child, your inner child is um, concerned about what's happening here. And you're, you're trying to have strength about this too because it's I think this situation is challenging you. I feel your person because this is you, this is them, this is the storyline and this is extra. It says, go, let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event, a situation that leads to significant opportunities. And I feel like that's how this person is challenging you. It's like, I think you're some, like your outer self is somewhat okay with it. But your, your, your inner child, I'm really feeling, is threatened. Because, you know, when you're releasing belief systems and going with the flow, especially if someone is leading you, and, you know, flip the storyline as it reads, because it might be a person that's experiencing that insecurity about life-changing, letting go of belief systems. But they know that they have to try something new. They want a more meaningful life. And if they have to go on a new journey to do it, they're going to do it and they, and they want to take you with them. I think they're very much um, an explorer at heart. You know, and with this, it says reward for yourself for all your hard work. Being happily and successfully self-employed, cherish your time alone. That's the meaning of this card, at least, you know, how that what they're interpreting. My interpretation is that they're trying to keep this balanced for you as well. They, they don't want to go overboard. It's like, they must be super spiritual. 
super spiritual, super religious, whatever it is that's attracting you in, you know, and challenging your belief systems and having you or them, whoever it is, kind of let go of things. And they're in, you know, this card shows that someone's leading the other. And it's not that you or them don't want to go. They want to go. There's just some trepidation. And the storyline here says, trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others, focusing on, on that which frightens or worries you. So focusing on, hmm? focusing on that which frightens or worries you. Yeah. So let go of those negative people. You could tell them all, huh? Because I'm reading it rather than using my intuition. So maybe this person is, you know, encouraging you to let go of negative people, negative situations. Trying to help you see all the good lights that are out there. And there's a light getting in the way. There's another one. <laughs> and the camera looks like it's the same color as these little fairy lights. Yeah, this person's definitely showing you a new way of being. It's kind of like this person must be really taking you into spiritual awakening. And you're so in love with them that you're like, okay. You know, I feel like and the, and the overall, the, the over more powerful energy here is this gentle feminine who's being led. You know, and a man or a woman or whomever can have male or female energy. So take it as it reads. And you know that this is, you know, the step that you want to take. You know you want to do this. And this card here is like a little cherub trying to beg or pray. It says, being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity Taking someone or something for granted, discontentment in life. And maybe that's where you were. And this person comes along and shows you the magic that is available. That's beautiful. Let's see. I'm going to grab the Twin Flame Oracle cards. Yeah, you want to surrender to this. You feel great about this. And I don't feel like if you're concerned about this person, you know, especially if your inner child's having fear about all this change, that, you know, that this is, they're trying to convince you this is somehow dangerous. I'm not getting that at all. You know, it's taking you into a new realm. You know, and this, these are the fairy cards. You know, it's having you rethink your material world. And you're so, like I said, you're so in love with this person. You know, and you're awakening. They're definitely a catalyst for this. You're worried that because you love them so much and they're taking you into this new realm of thought and feeling that you're scared that they're going to abandon you. Your inner child is scared that they're going to abandon you. And realize that there's cycles. There's cycles that need to play out. You know, and with this fear of being abandoned, you know, this person here, uh, if I can grab it, they're holding the rose for themselves. It's like they're, they're hiding their own fear of abandonment or their, well, let me say that again. They're hiding their own love from them. Cause if this is the example of like love given is the rose. So you need to go with it and do your inner child healing about being abandoned. You need to let that go and realize that you hold it. They don't hold it. You hold it. Cause if, 
you know, if you continue to have fears and trepidations about it, you know, it could affect this relationship. What does your person truly feel about you? They recognize that you are their person. They recognize the divinity within you. They have big dreams for the two of you. I heard they see forever. Yeah, you're you're their conclusion. You are definitely that you're, you know, you are interesting. Cycles and signs have come out. So realize there's going to be cycles and signs, you know, that might run through this. But in, in the conclusion, you know, they recognize that you're their person. And the conclusion is you, you know, because it's the lock and the key. I think because of the, because this um, connection is so magical, you're scared of it being like too good to be true. You know, there's something you must be missing. You have to understand that sometimes things are just good. You know, like look at the, the little sparkles and the lights. Sometimes it's just good. You're going to need to have patience with yourself. Sorry, I don't know why that was so hard to say. But, um, yeah, I think that because you don't feel like you're where they are spiritually, that you're like, oh, my God, they're settling. And that's a part of the fear as well. You know, don't let yourself be the victim on this one. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm too unevolved. You know, to me, this card is, you know, they've got their stuff together. They've gathered all their shells. You know, their, their sand is in, in Zen mode. But they've chosen you. So know that that's the case. And then they're just willing to be your guide. They're willing to help you. You know, and sometimes it makes you shut down and become cold. And they understand it. I don't think... Then anything that you can do is really going to freak them out unless you like decide to go tromping off and sleeping with a bunch of people. Now, other than that, I think that they're going to weather any storm with you. They're in this to win this because they recognize. Let's see. Do I want to? Let's see. Some divine love messages. You are so precious to me. That's how they feel about you. I mean, and that's kind of really sums up this whole reading is that they're so, they know that you're so precious to them. They're not going to let this, you know, like, oh, this person's unevolved. And I don't want to take the time. No, you're precious to them and they're going to take the necessary time because they recognize this. It says you are healing my soul, but it is a work in progress. And I guess that's the part that you don't quite understand because you're not seeing that because you're so mesmerized by their spiritual advancement and the magic that they can perform and the words that come out of their mouth and everything about them to you is like magical and sparkly, but you don't realize that you're helping to heal them as well. So even though it doesn't seem a mutual, it is. So you're going to have to trust that. It says, how can I ever pay you back? Wow. And it's going to be interesting to find out how you do heal them. Because obviously you're not seeing that there is equal give and take here. You just feel like you're taking because you don't have the knowledge or the remembrance to be where they're at. Wow. You're, they're, they're definitely getting something from you as well. So don't worry about equal reciprocity because it's happening here. All right, Pisces, I hope that that was helpful. I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Love you guys. Bye.